The Ministry of Public Security held a press conference in Vientiane on Friday to report the progress of the police investigations into the disappearance of Mr. Sumbat Sumpon. They have released a briefing on their efforts to locate Mr. Sumbat so far, and the following is the briefing exactly as received by Lao Media. Second briefing on the result of the police investigations to locate the whereabouts of Mr. Sumbat Sumpon. For the purpose of further information and proper understanding regarding the ongoing investigations into the incident conducted by the police as assigned by the superior authorities to search for Mr. Sumbat Sumpon. On behalf of the committee in charge of solving the case 1, Colonel Dr. Peng Savanti Pavong Sai, Deputy Director General of the General Police Department, Ministry of Public Security, would like to provide the second briefing on the result of the investigations as follows. Following the first briefing on the preliminary result of the investigations to locate the whereabouts of Mr. Sumbat Sumpon on 11th January 2013. We, the committee in charge of solving the case, continued with great attention to investigate and collect information from individuals and organizations concerned according to the duties and functions of the committee. On 15 to 16 January 2013, we continued to collect information related to Mr. Sumbat from his wife, Mr. Nguyen Shui Ming, his sister, Mr. Pet Samai, and his niece, Ms. Sumjit. We learned from them that Mr. Sumbat has close relatives in Kamwan province. Therefore, on 24 to 25 January 2013, the investigating police authorities coordinated with the provincial police authorities of Kamwan province in collecting information from Mr. Sumbat's two brothers and two sisters in Nongbokam village and Santisuk village, Takek district, Kamwan province, and could obtain some additional information. On 8 February 2012, the investigating police authorities invited Mrs. Nguyen Shui Ming, Mr. Sumbat's wife, and Ms. Petsamai, Mr. Sumbat's sister, to come to the committee with a view to evaluating and discussing together with the committee ways to continue the search for Mr. Sumbat, and at the same time, they were informed of the progress of the investigations. 2. As far as investigation techniques are concerned, the investigating police authorities have continued to coordinate with and assign all police authorities nationwide to closely watch for sources of information to help the search for the missing person. 3.1. On the question, what did the police man in the police post the evening of Sumbat's disappearance on 15 December 2012 say what happened that night and what did they see? On this question, I already clarified that we had interrogated the traffic police officers who were on duty that evening, and they said that there was a regular random check on cars on daily basis, and they could not remember whose cars they checked and which one belonged to whom, as they checked many cars each day. 3.2. On the question. Whether the motorcyclist who drove away some bus jeep has been identified? We have viewed the CCTV footage many times, but could see only what is recorded at this is a technical thing recorded during a night time. So it was not clear to identify who has the motorcyclist and what the license plate number of the motorcycle was. As for the motorcyclist and the person who drove the jeep away, they are the most wanted by the police and anyone who may possess information related to them are requested to immediately report to a nearest police station. 3.3. On the question, has Sumbat's Jeep license plate number 2624 been found? The police authorities have tried hard to search for Mr. Sumbat Sumpon and the Jeep license plate number 2624 since the date of receipt of the report on the incident. CCTV footages serve as technical basis for investigations. As a rule, no countries in the world would allow individuals who do not have responsibility to access the CCTV centers. 3.4 On the question, 
has the Lao Police issued an Interpol yellow notification to inform colleagues in the region about Sumbat's disappearance and sought their assistance? The police authorities of the Lao PDR have notified Arsinpol and Interpol, asking them to help watch for information that might be related to Mr. Sumbat and the car. This case happened in the Lao PDR, despite missing cases hardly occurred in this country before, unlike in many other countries. The leadership of the Ministry of Public Security, the General Police Department paid their great attention to the investigations by giving guidance to the committee in charge of solving the case. This committee has concentrated tireless efforts with its utmost responsibility on the investigations to find out the truth. On the contrary, some individuals, some non-governmental organizations, some foreign media groups made unconstructive and socially disturbing comments, accusing the police authorities of detaining Mr. Sumbat Sumpon, which is absolutely not true. ปันป่วนภายในใส่ห้ายป้ายสีว่าเจ้าหน้าที่ตำรวจลาวเป็นผู้กักตัวเท่าสมบัติสมพรแม่นบุถือกับความจริงมีบุคคลในองค์การจะตั้งต่างๆรวมทั้งสื่อมวลชนอยู่ต่างประเทศใส่ห้ายป้ายสีว่าเจ้าหน้าที่ตำรวจอยู่ค่ายคุ้มข